welcome back to my channel it's Teresa, and i'm back with another video in today's video we're gonna be having a girl talk a one-on-one -on -one talk about your hygiene about tips and advice to help you down there if you are struggling or even if you want to learn new tricks and you know some new advice before we get into this video go ahead and subscribe to this channel give this video a like and let's get right into this video the first thing i want to touch upon is that any scented lotion body gel cream any of that stuff is not okay to be down there and the reason why i say that is because it can throw off your ph balance a lot of things can throw off your ph balance um and that you can get an infection from that it's just not okay to okay to put down there if you have been doing that and you notice that you might have started getting some smells that can be a pretty good reason why now i'm not saying that don't spray yourself with you know victoria's secret spray or anything but you shouldn't take the bottle and be like Ch -ch -ch -ch, down there because that's not what's gonna keep you smelling good down there it's gonna make the situation worse and it's nothing we're going to know spraying your body but that should not just be down there it's just not okay okay but what is okay is using unscented soap and unscented stuff is okay for the body and down there. It won't throw your pH balance. It won't create unnecessary smells or weird smells. So definitely try to use unscented Dove soap or whatever soap you use. Long as the next thing I want to talk about is cranberry pills. Cranberry pills, I will put a picture right there. Cranberry pills is amazing. I know a lot of people, to, they use those. Um, cranberry pills are good for the body. Cranberries in general, everyone knows cranberry juice, cranberry, the fruit is good for the body. It's good for down there. Um, so if you haven't checked out cranberry pills, I will give you guys, you know, link in the description where you can get them at. You can get them at Walmart, Amazon. You just type it in online, you're going to see cranberry pills. Period. Okay. My next tip is that it's okay to have smells down there. Now, I'm not saying that you need to be, it needs to be, like, I'm not saying that it's okay to have nasty, funky smells down there. Not every time you're going to have, you know, the wonderful smell down there. It's life. It's how your body works. Um, and like I said, I'm not saying a nasty scent. But something that you probably never smelled before or, you know, that's just how your body, you know, goes through its phases of cleaning itself and stuff like that. So, it's okay to have a smell down there, but you do have to understand that it's two different smells. Like I said, it's a smell that's nasty, disgusting. You have a smell that's just like, a smell, you know, you just, oh, okay. So, don't be afraid if it smells down there. You probably don't have an STD. You don't have an infection. We as females are not perfect. And you're not going to always smell like peaches and cream down there. So, if you have a smell, it's My okay. next tip is that it's important to go pee after sex. The reason why it's important is because we need to go flush down there. You don't need no infections. We don't need no UTIs. We need to not be laying up, cuddling after, whatever you want to do after. If you don't get up and go pee, go use the bathroom. Okay, that's important, okay? Guys can throw up your pH balance if you don't know or if you're not sexually active or even if you are. Guys can throw up your pH balance, having, you know, having sex, stuff like that can throw off your pH balance so it's important to go ahead and knowing that guys can throw off your pH balance when you're having sex with multiple people it's important to go get go get checked not saying that you have an STD or you could be pregnant but it's important to get checked to make sure that he didn't have anything if you're not using protection even if he is using protection, it's important to make sure that your body is okay and that you don't have any infections or STDs that you can spread around because that's just not cute and it's just important to keep yourself healthy and good down. It is totally okay to sleep without your underwear. 
And you might be like, what do you mean? Why would I not sleep in my underwear? Sis, it's okay to let it breathe down there. Give your body a rest. It's not going to hurt you not to wear underwear. It just gives your body the freedom. It helps build your confidence. You know, go ahead and, you know, take the bra off. Take your underwear before you go to sleep. Now, I'm not saying, you know, be butt naked in the house, but... Your bed, sis, go ahead. Go ahead and take it off. Let let your body breathe. It's been a long day. Go My ahead. next tip is coconut baby gel, well, baby oil gel is okay to shave with. Um, It's honestly better than using the regular shave cream or shave, shave gel. It just leaves a smoother, clean, you know, Skin. So if you haven't, go ahead and use that. And I also heard that men razors are way better than female razors. So sis, if you have a problem sh shaving, you get ingrown hairs, baby girl, go ahead and give you some coconut oil, men razors, or the baby oil gel, sis. You won't be on a whole new level. So go ahead, get that out answer pictures on the screen so you guys know what it looks like if you don't and all right guys this is the ending of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope this is helpful for you guys if so give this video a big like subscribe to the channel follow me on social media in the description down below and i'll see you guys in my next video